Hello guys, I'm Cambridge English teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com and if you want to know how to pass part 4 of the B2 first, that's FCE, use of English paper, keyword transformations, then keep watching this video and I will show you how to do that. And don't forget to watch until the end of this video because at the end I am going to give you some homework to complete. I'm going to add this video to my use of English FCE playlist and I will put a link to my playlist for you above me but this video will also form part of my use of English video course which is the most comprehensive course I have for the use of English paper and I will put a link in the description to that video course for you. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the format of the use of English paper, and then we will drill down into my tips, which will show you how to successfully pass this part of the exam. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my first certificate in English, use of English course. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on part four of the use of English paper. We're going to learn some tips and technique to use for part four of the paper. And we're also going to learn some strategy, which we can then use with some real practice examples. So let's get started. There are four different parts in the use of English paper, remember? And we're going to be focusing on part four, which is called keyword transformations. So this is what the keyword transformation exercises look like. You're given a sentence with a few words missing and you need to decide which words complete this sentence. They give you an example sentence just above and you need to make sure that your sentence and this sentence have the same meaning. They also give you a word which you need to use and this word will help you complete your sentence. This word helps us to know which other words go in the sentence. So how many questions are there in this part? There are six questions and you are awarded two marks for every correct answer. So there are 12 marks in total available. How many words should you write in the gap? A minimum of two words and a maximum of five words. And should you change the word that they give you? No, you shouldn't. So it's time for my first tip. Read the example sentence that they give you. And then look at the word that they give you. And then look at your sentence. And if you know the missing words, make sure they stay congruent. And this is an example of what I mean. If you use a singular countable noun, make sure you use an article, which can be either a, an, or the, before it. Or, if you use a subject, for example, I, Make sure that the verb you use is the correct form of the verb that you need for that subject. Time for my second tip. You should ask yourself this question. Is the word they give you used in any common English expressions? Because this section tests your knowledge of a lot of expressions in English. And what I do is I often ask myself a question using the word that they give me and then I think of the answer to this question. And the answer to this question is usually the answer that you need. Let's look at an example together. Look at this question. Do you need to hand in the homework this week? Now, if you look at the example sentence they give you, 
and you understand the information in this sentence, you should be able to answer this question. So pause the video and write down what you think the answer to this question is. And when you're ready, press play. OK. So the answer is no. You don't need to hand in the homework until next week. And there we go. That is the answer to this question. And that would get you two marks. Here's a quick final tip from this page for you. Contractions, for example the word don't in our sentence, count as two words, not one word. They count as two out of your maximum of five words. OK. Time for my next tip. Common English expressions, phrasal verbs, and knowledge of grammatical structures are all tested here. For example, reported speech. You need to know reported speech for the first certificate exam because there may be some questions on this grammatical structure. So I recommend that you buy a first certificate practice book. Most of these books should teach you the vocabulary and grammar and expressions that you need for the exam. This is the book that I use with my students and you can buy this book by typing this into your web browser. But you never know which expression you may need. So while you may learn hundreds of expressions in your first certificate course book, you don't know which ones are going to come up in the exam. And that's why you should really try to learn all of them. OK, so for homework, what you should do is follow the tips and techniques that I've taught you in this lesson to complete these three questions here. And also, there are two more questions on this slide here. You should also use these tips and technique to help you complete the part four exercises in a course book. OK. And just to remind you, this web page of my website is really useful for the use of English paper, for all parts of the use of English paper. And if you want to do a live lesson with me, you can write to me and we can talk about my lessons, private or group lessons. All you need to do is send me an email at admin at studentlanguages.com. OK, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do those two things, it will really help my channel to grow. And it will also help other students like you to find my videos. So if you found the video useful and you think other students will find it useful, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are preparing for an exam, then I also recommend pressing the bell notification after you subscribe because then you will be notified when I make a new video which could be really useful for you when preparing for this exam because I make about two videos every week. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a link to a playlist above me where you can find other keyword transformation videos including some where I am using the tips and strategy that I taught you in this video to complete other practice questions. So that will be a really useful playlist for you. If you have any questions or comments, please write me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you want to access a free FCE video course, then I will put a link up here for you now showing you how you can access and sign up for a video course completely free. OK, guys, I've been Cambridge English teacher Rory from studentlanguages.com. Bye-bye.